Many countries in the Caribbean now are making bold commitments to increase the coverage of marine protected areas in their waters. The deep sea remains an overlooked part of that process, but there's actually a lot of interest. Cayman is a beautiful set of islands in the central Caribbean, and it's a little bit removed from most of the other parts in the Caribbean that Beneath the Waves has worked in. It's a small set of islands, but it's right on the edge of really, really deep water. In fact, there's a trench called the Cayman Trench, which is one of the deepest in the world. So when we think about species like sharks and other highly migratory species that are moving through these waters, it really begs the question, are they using deep waters and what is the role that the deep sea is maybe playing in the survival of these animals? Before we even did that, it was really important for us to consult with the local experts who have been surveying these waters forever. This project is hugely exciting. We've worked really hard in our shallow water environments. We know a lot about our shallow water species, but we know nothing about the deep waters that surround the Cayman Islands. So getting this data is really a groundbreaking and baseline study because nobody has looked that deep before. So we've taken our amazing drop camera technology, which we basically toss over the side of the boat. These cameras go down to about 2,000 meters, is about the max, about 6,000 feet. And we're recording high definition video for several hours. That video is priceless because we're able to quantify rates of biodiversity, abundance for species like sharks and other highly mobile fishes. That's really critical for establishing kind of part of that baseline of what's there at these different depths. In addition to that, we're gonna be using something called environmental DNA, which is a non-invasive technology that will allow us to detect species that may be passing through and actually dropping off parts of their DNA. So that's using water sampling, and we're also profiling the top of the deep ocean, right at the edge of the twilight zone. So the project has only been running less than a year. We're already uncovering some fascinating facts. We saw some really cool things so far. We saw some tigers down deep. We saw some scalloped hammerheads, some great hammerheads. We saw Caribbean reef sharks and we saw silky sharks. So we've already captured a lot of really good detections, incredible species, and we just need to build on this. You know, this work is ongoing. It's about a two-year process, and we will be literally taking these data, all this information, and putting it right into the hands of the policymakers here. We're hoping to unravel this mystery and to start to really get a handle on what our majorly important pelagic species are doing, what our coastal species are doing, how the two interact, what's the exchange between the deep water environment and our nearshore coastal, how are they linked? We're trying to cover as much ground as possible and as much area of the islands as possible and I'm really excited to see what type of new discoveries might we find. We might be trying to profile biodiversity but we might also find new species or a depth range extension for a species of shark. My passion and my belief is that once we start unmasking some of those secrets, some of those unknowns, that people will come to appreciate it and that we will be able to extend it into just an incredible deep water marine protected area that's a sanctuary for whales, for sharks, for all those species that we just rarely get to see but still need protection. It's pretty amazing how much new information can be created every time we're doing our deep sea work. But it doesn't really surprise me because, like I said, we live in a deep ocean and we haven't been able to study it properly. So it's a really exciting place for us to be.